I know I already gave it away in the thumbnail, but if you didn't know this was a sub $1,000 e-bike and you walked past this, there is no way you would believe you get all these features, this fit and finish on this quality of a bike for that price. It just, I mean, look at this. Even in the showroom floor, it looks like it belongs. And yes, this is my buddy's place, not mine. He's, he's showing off the toys. Anyway, the fact is for, I mean, this should be a, probably a $2,000 at, at the very least on sale for like $1,500. And right now KBO is blowing this sucker out for sub 1,000. Of course, depending on when you see the video, it may no longer be on sale, but just understand this thing is ridiculous for what you get. You got the disc brakes, you got the, the front suspension, you've got uh, a lithium ion battery with quality cells in it. Uh, everything about this bike just screams like we didn't, they didn't cut any corners, all right? This is for a budget bike, it's insane. It's got all the standard features, Shimano hardware, all the stuff you're gonna see on what would be considered a mid-tier or even some of the higher tier bikes. And the, the, the look on the paint job is just exquisite. It's got good welds. It's got great features. Fat tire, 26-inch wheels. Uh, not, not overly aggressive, but grippy, you know, pedals on it. Uh, you're going to get a comfortable ride. Now, granted, it is a hard tail. But you know what? Even, even hardtail with a fat tire like this, with a 26-inch fat tire, is going to get you a lot smoother ride. But enough about me talking about what it can do. Let me show you it out in the real world. Now we could take this for a ride down the street. We could even go down like a dirt path or something like that. But let's look for something, you know, a bit more challenging. All right, well, I gotta tell you, this is, I think, the fourth e-bike from KBO that we have done a collaboration with them on. Uh, the first one we sent to a young man who had had a, 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 an immigrant, fresh immigrant to the US, who had his means of transportation stolen and needed a way to be able to get to work and to school and stuff. So we did that and it was great to help somebody like him out. We've had two of them, uh, the Foley one and the cargo bike uh, here in Montana that my family's been using. And uh, K when KBO reached out to us, I was like, you know, it's a little cold. It's a little mucky down here. How about this? I got a buddy down in Florida. So we sent it down to him to test out and, and ride around. And he's been having a blast on this. So uh, you, saw, you saw the footage from it. This thing is fully capable. Let's go through some of the specs and the pricing. Because I got to tell you, KBO is quickly becoming probably one of the best value e-bikes in the market. Uh, so this is, of course, the... Uh, the KBO All-Terrain Tornado. Now we did, the first one we did was the Tornado Step-Through version, which is this one. The difference in this is this has got the higher crossbar. It adds some rigidity, especially if you're gonna be doing anything more aggressive or anything like that, or maybe you just like the style better. That's what you can go with. But check out the sale price on this. This is normally a $1,500 e-bike. And that's not a joke because when you look at the features, that's pretty, these are pretty much standard for, I'm not gonna say a high-end e-bike, but an e-bike that you're gonna see in that $1,300 to $1,600 range. Now, to be getting this on sale for just under 1,000, that's a screaming deal right there. But let's go through the specs again. So again, large tire, fat tire, uh, you know, e-bike, just kind of a standard like all-terrain kind of cruiser here. Uh, front shocks, hardtail on it with the, uh, with the rack. 
Now, as far as the actual specs, battery is a 48 volt standard, 14 hour falls within my range of, I consider 14 to 16 amp hour the standard for e-bikes. Anything lower than that is just kind of like, why? Anything higher than that is a real bonus. 750 watt hub motor. At this point, unless it's a specialty bike, like a mid-drive uh, uh, kind of downhill kind of bike, we don't actually care to review anything under 750. There's 500 watt bikes, there's 350 watt bikes, our, our cutoff anymore is, is 750, that's the standard. The Shimano six-speed derailleur, almost everyone has that estimated range, 45 miles, and that's gonna be in like, you know, uh, at your, at your highest gear with your, uh, uh, your, your pedal assist at its lowest setting on flat, you know, flat ground. The tires, 26 inch by four inch. Those are pretty big tires there, okay? Let me go, so let me go back here. I was getting a little ahead of myself. Payload capacity is 350 pounds. It's not the biggest, but it's not the lightest I've seen. Uh, we're talking about the battery, 14, uh, 48 volt, uh, 14 amp hour, made with Samsung and or, and or LG uh, cells there. Uh, then we also, this is kind of one of the nice things. There's a bunch, they list a bunch of the, you know, the, the stuff on it, in PVC fenders, mechanical disc brakes. Everyone's got that. The USB charger, it's not a like, oh my gosh, I can't believe they have that. A lot of bikes have it, but a lot of bikes also don't. So to see that a thousand dollar bike has this is really nice. I mean, it's one of the things that I like to see on this. But if we go back here, Again, this is a normally a $1,500 bike on sale right now for $1,000. Ships out within two business days. Uh, they've got, a, and it, look at this, it comes with a bunch of free accessories and stuff, the rear bike rack. Also, I wanted to show that uh, they have on sale, they didn't even ask me to talk about this, but they've got their e-bike cargo trailer on sale for $250. It's astounding what you can do with an e-bike. Actually, my son and I, he just bought a kayak at a, uh, like a fishing kayak at a garage sale. He's an avid fisherman. So he's got his e-bike and we're looking to build a, a, a kayak trailer. I think this is too a little, sh a little short for what we would use it for. But for a lot of people, man, it, especially during the summer, even around here, uh, it be, these e-bikes have fast, fast, quickly become uh, a real go-to, uh, you know, way to get around town. We live in a small town, about 7,500 people. During touristy times in the summer, we're not from far from Yellowstone National Park. Uh, it jumps up, about doubles that. So it gets really busy. Parking can be a real pain. So having an e-bike that can get around town, that can go the same speed as all the traffic, because everything's 25 around here. So uh, it, they're a really nice way to get around. Anyway, let me know, what are you looking for in an e-bike? Because this one ticks a lot of the boxes. 26 inch wheels, fat tire, uh, you know, solid four, 14 amp hour battery. Uh, the uh, the range on it is pretty decent. Uh, it front adjustable shocks, not much to not like on it. Anyway, let me know what you think. That's all we got for you today. Thanks again to KBO for sending this bike over for review. You all take care, God bless, and as always, shine on.